one of my strategies um, for investing in uh, value shares is applying um, the um, methodology uh, that is mentioned in the um, book called the little book that beats the market by Joel Greenblatt uh, the idea is that you uh, buy a good business at a bargain price using the uh, magic formula screening tool you come up with 30 companies um, which I purchased on the 23rd of November 2020 and hold for a year then you sell and and then repeat um, the performance so far after five months have not been too bad I'll just run through the list of um shares I actually own at the moment uh, we've got five, I purchased um, each share for £10 or £10 worth of each share um, on 23rd of November 2020 and we're now going to see how they're fared um, the first one is Facebook um, as you can see um, got quite a comprehensive list of 30 shares we'll go to um, the uh, portfolio and you can see how we get on it's quite easy to identify them because I paid £10 for each share um, the first one is ABV uh, the price now is 10.57 up 5.7 percent Adobe up 5.9 percent uh, Amgen up 4 percent Apple up 8.7 percent AT&T up 6.8 percent Bristol Mayer Squib down 2.5%. Cisco Systems up 18.6%. Comcast up 9.8%. Eli Lilly um, up 22%. Facebook up 17%. Home Depot up 15%. Honeywell up 5.8%. IBM up 16%, Intel up 21%, uh, Inuvo down 18%, Johnson & Johnson up 8%, Lockheed Martin down 1.3%, Lowe's companies um, up 25%, uh, McAfee, uh, I don't think that's the one I bought or I'll just double check that um, when did I buy that share let's have a look um, history that was purchased um, no that wasn't purchased that's not one of those it wasn't purchased then we'll disregard McAfee um, Merck and Co no I don't think I'll just check when that was purchased um, if you look at history uh, that was yes that is Merck and Co that was purchased that was one of the um, 30 shares I purchased and the valuation of that at the moment is um, <clears throat> Uh, down 10%, Microsoft up 15%, Netflix up 2%, Oracle up 30%, uh, PepsiCo down 2.7%, Pfizer down 2.3%, Philip Morris up 20%, Procter & Gamble uh, down 7.4%, Qualcomm down 7.8%, uh, Royal Dutch Shell up 4.9%. I'll just double check that was one of the um, shares I purchased. Let's go to history. Um, no, that wasn't one. Uh, no, no, that was purchased another time. I just check. No, that was bought in July, so that's not one of them. Um, so disregard Royal Dutch Shell. That was purchased another time. Starbucks wasn't. Texas Instruments up 10%. Uh, Verizon up. No, down 7.2%, Visa up 9%. So looking at it overall, I think overall we're up. 
this is five months on and I invested ten pounds in each share and um, that is how they're performing they're, they're definitely not performing too badly this is applying the um, magic formula that um, is um, recommended or um, illustrated by Joe Greenblatt in his book the little book that beats the market so that is one of my um, investing strategies um, for value shares where we um, buy good businesses at bargain prices so till next time i bid you a really 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 successful investing adventure any questions or comments please go ahead or we'll receive a reply